And Jay, what are we doing? Having a nice sunbathe, Steed. Why are we why are we sunbathing, MJ? I'll tell you why. Because today it's the Indian Pongal Festival. Pongal Festival? What, yeah. What's Indian Pongal Festival? It's all about the sun god, so we're celebrating by having a nice tan in the sun, because you definitely need it. I'm d I, d I do definitely need a bit of a tan, but I mean, that's it. If a festival, all you do is lie and get a tan. No, they celebrate uh, the sun, the sun god, and they celebrate by eating rice. And they cook in milk and just boil it till it overflows and eat rice. MJ, well, one problem, we've got the sun, but ha ha, we've got no rice. Oh, believe me, there will be rice in three, two, one. So Steve, you still got rice in your, <laughs> in your I've got I've got rice in my hair, I've got rice in my chest hair. You don't want to know what other hairs I've found rice in in the last 10 minutes. But uh but here we are, Pongal Festival MJ. Yeah. Uh, so Pongal Festival is it's a it's a multi-day harvest festival. Uh, it's it's typically a Tamil festival, it's three days. They do have it in Thailand also. It can be known as the Bodji Pongal, the Surya Pongal, the Matu Pongal. Sometimes it goes to a fourth day. I think if it goes to a fourth day, it's because people are drinking this King's Fisher beer, which is 8%. Oh, cheers, Steve. Uh, well, we've, we've I've had a couple. Yeah, he's had a couple. Yeah. This is my first one. But what an array, what an amazing array of speciality. It's a very sweet beer. Eh? That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a very sweet beer. Don't know how they get it to 8%. I love that um, how you, you want it to be like clever, like, wow, you've got, you've got so many general knowledge facts about this Pongal. Tommy Fall. It's just on his phone, I know. You put it down here trying to see <laughs> how it's going to go. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we're still getting served food. Yeah, so what's, what's fantastic about this is we don't have a plate. Uh, we've got a... We've got a banana leaf. Yeah, banana leaf as a plate, and which I've never done before, to be honest. It's colorful, the aromas, I wish you can smell oh. through the camera. It's so aromatic. Oh, it's not, it's definitely not MJ, yeah. it's, it's, it's the food. So they come up, they just Thank dish you. us. Um, we're gonna eat with our hands. Yeah. I'll use a spoon now and then, but. I think some bits we're gonna, we're gonna have to use a spoon. I mean, we've just showed you a little bit of the food. There's some bits we're, we're, we're probably. No, I, eff it. I'm not going to use a spoon. I'm not going. I'm not going to use a spoon. So here we go. Yeah. Well, the, the first part. Let's let's go. Let's let's do the pongo. Let's do the. Yeah, this, this is, is the actual traditional. Pongo. Traditional. Pongo. It's the um, sassy. So the pongo. It's it's rice and milk. This one. This one. Yeah. yeah. Rice. Uh, rice. Very much chili. Very much chili. Okay. Very much chili. And uh, milk. Milk and we have three hundred rice uh, milk, a little bit of chili, and oh, some small okay. rice balls. Okay, so uh, oh, we have got a belly roll. and cassonet and elachi. Elachi means the cardamom, cardamom flavor. Oh, ah, right. Uh, butter. And you just butter. you just drink this, sassy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, okay, it's is the pongal? Oh wow! It's oh, like dessert. And it's like a dessert, that's got a lovely flavor. Cheese. Ah. That is tam tamarind rice. And tamarind rice. And this one, lemon rice. Okay, Sashi, can you just, can you just, oh, what, what's, what's this one? This is a pongal. This uh, is a pongal as well? And some kind of pulses. Yes, yeah. Pulses. Okay. Yellow I pulses. think I know the, I think uh, I know the, other. and this one is? It's a sweet pongal. The sweet pongal, right, yeah. okay. Cool. Man, you are spoiling us, thank you, you Sashi. In India, this is all the item in one. One place. So is this this northern or southern? Southern. 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 Is southern yeah. Okay. So I, I think that's I, I think that's where the Tamils come from. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But uh, we got two French joining us today behind the camera. Yeah. Spray that. It's nice, isn't it? Food is rice. Yeah. I don't want to like. I'm gonna have to dig into other food. 
But like we've also got like a lamb curry. Uh, we've got a vegetarian curry. Uh, we got a, a chicken curry. Prawn curry. Curry chicken. We got a tomato dish. We got four different types of rice. Yogurt. We got just yogurt over here. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Just put over. Put here rice, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that's good service. Thank you, young man. Oh, we got some fish as well. Yeah. Looking forward to the fish. It just, just keeps coming. It just I'm gonna, keeps coming. I'm gonna dip into this. This is a cracker with some lamb curry. Lamb curry, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip this little fella mm -hmm. into the vegetable curry. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Happy Pongal. This is, this is like, oh, and here comes some, some yogurt on the rice, mm. thank you very much. This is great, this is like, a, just a bread, bread that they, I thought bread. that was like a rice ball or something. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my hands dirty, first of all I'm gonna get some, I've got some mango here. Some pickled raw mango, wow. Oh. I don't know what to dig into first. All these pickles, Steve, the more I eat, the more I like. Me too. Oh. I'm not getting. I like getting dirty, sticky fingers. Yeah, we know you do. I'm glad I don't have to eat with seeds hands. Oh, mate. My hands have just been picking rice out of unknown places. Oh. Right, so, I'm going to try uh, this fish. Usually, usually we, we take the food each. And we're like, oh, MJ, this is really cool. Oh, see, this is really nice food. But both of us at the moment, I mean, you can't do it with this man because he's just... He's like got shovel hands, he's just having everything at once. I'm surprised you're gonna keep half of that in your beard. What's going on with your beard these days, by the way? A man needs a beard, Steve. <laughs> to keep his food in. <laughs> it's like a... It's like a... a carry-on luggage for food. Food is a bit of food. Oh, there's some more food. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna have a go with a fish as well. What, what's this one? Curry. Curry? Yes, it's so oh, good. Cool. Okay, that, that, that curry is so yellow. It's like an onion berry bread. Dip that in some yellow, yellow curry. Okay, cancelled. <laughs> huh? I'm not going to tell that joke. I was about to tell. Uh, but yeah, this, this curry. <laughs> Lads, what do you guys do? Oh, it smells good. That's like a lemon, that's like a lemon butter Tastes curry. Like, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I've never tasted a curry like that before. When so Sassy comes over, I'll ask him. This is like, you can see the yellowness of the curry. Oh. But, like our belly bro friend, Rousseau, he's the only belly bro with six pack. <laughs> he, it's like a lemon, lemon zesty curry. Mate. It's so good. Our friend Sassy owns this restaurant. Uh, mm. I'm going to ask him about this in a bit because I've never tasted a curry like that. I'm, I'm really liking the fish. Fish is amazing. The fish is good, eh? Uh, I will mm -hmm. just say, MJ, uh, everyone back out there in Bellybro land, we, we really care about you. So just be I just worry that he's gonna, his fingers are going to come off when he's eating. Just to, for an extra little bit of meat, he's just going to chomp down. <laughs> <laughs> this fish all good? The fish is really fine. I'm going to taste the fish dry. Oh. Yeah. Not it's usually a big fan of fish, but and I'm gonna put a fish in some of this yellow curry. Mm. I love a prawn curry. Oh, it's a big bone. Yeah, there is prawn curry there as well. Yeah, yeah. Prawn curry, nice. On my little. What do you call this? Uh, Papa Dom. Papa Dom. Papa Dom. Papa Dom. 
We've got two pieces of sweet thing as well. Like Sassy was saying that that these these are also pongal. Mm. So I'm gonna try I'm gonna try the the pongal that's not in. This is pongal in a cup. This is pongo on a banana leaf. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this one. Okay, so this is a, this is a bit this is a bit savory. So we'll have a go with this one. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. I'm gonna have a go with a sweet one. Put some on with my fingers. When in southern India. Oh, I don't know. I like them both. Well, I think I like the sweet one because it's a bit colder. If you're watching from India, write down in the comments down below, like, what do you guys do on this festival? Like, is there anything different that you guys celebrate that you can share with us? Um, I'd like to know. Mm. Yeah. If anyone's watching who's not in India, they should probably are. When you go to a restaurant back home, everyone orders the. Everyone orders. I mean, what's it like in South Africa? We go and we order like a Windaloo or a, or a Korma or a Rogan Joss. But South, you Africa, never... South Africa's got the second biggest Indian population outside of India. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, Liverpool's got, Liverpool's got a, a lot of a lot of Indian restaurants, but it's like a lot no. of Indian restaurants I've got and a lot little, of criminals. Uh, I've got my little cousin sitting here, he's also from Liverpool. And he'll tell you if he was on camera, but he's not. <laughs> you know, we've got, we've got, we've got so many Indian restaurants where people go and they order the, the naan bread and the rice and, and a meal and they might share. We've never seen this food before. This food's fantastic. I've, I've literally never seen stuff like this before. Re uh, really authentic Indian food. And in the middle, in the middle of Panyu, which is a, a a, a subdistrict of Guangzhou. I mean, like, how, how is this so authentic in the middle yeah. of nowhere? Mm. I'm gonna say for me, I've had a, a, a oh, I haven't tried. I've had an experience at a couple of uh, Indian restaurants um, in Guangzhou. I have to give it to Rangoli. For me, it's the number one. For, for me as well, Rangoli is the number one restaurant in Guangzhou. Uh, there are a few around. There's some in the centre of Guangzhou. Ones. Good ones. Yeah, really good ones, but, uh, but everything here is, is top quality. Yeah. I, I don't even know what this little fella is, but... Oh! Oh, and that's just lamb curry. They always got festivals and things on, like when there's an Indian festival, they celebrate it here and they've got like buffets and various things that I do. Well, mm -hmm. I'm going to carry on digging into this. You using the spoon now? No, no. I'd like to switch it up. See, there, I'm using my hands now. Yeah. Uh, so, listen, let us know what you did. It's the most colourful. Let us know if you've done anything like this. Uh, just, just let us know what you think about Pongal Festival. If, if you're in India, how do you celebrate it, like MJ says. Also, the age old question. He breathes in every time I ask this question. It's just natural. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone's got the six pack, we've got a 24 pack between us. <laughs> Guys, hit the subscribe button. I'll also link Rangoli into um, the yeah, description do down below. So if you want to come check it out, like if you really want a good Indian um, cuisine experience, make sure you come down to Rangoli. And I'm going to continue eating. Happy Pongal Festival uh, to everybody watching. I hope you're celebrating this too. Take the rice out of your hair before you come to the restaurant. <laughs> Cheers, guys. See you next time. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.